Hello, Hello everybody. If you like this, if you like this video, subscribe and hit the bell button. And, and today we're going to talk about and comment down below and all that lovely stuff yep. because we come up with videos every week. Yep. Even if it's only one, but we yep. that will not be the case. Or this week we'll have one every day, yep. but this will be a Friday video, so you would already know that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So. We are doing uh, some... Wings of Fire today. Yeah, for all the Wings of Fire fans who like us, they're coming again. All right. Um, so, okay. right. should we, we're going to talk about Animus Magic. Should it come back or should it disappear forever? I mean, like... Right? That's, yeah, that's what we're talking or about. Or is it good or bad for the books? For the storyline? You're pro-Animus Magic, and I am anti-Animus Magic. <laughs> if I can say it right. I would look for... My stance is I would prefer Sundew's type of magical power where you can talk to plants. I feel like that's not magic. Well, that's just, I, I feel like that's it's a special scary. ability. Yeah. I would prefer that special ability or the Animus special ability. Well, I mean, Animus magic is magic. Right. All right, so we'll let you go. What's the pearl argument for Animus magic? Pearl argument. Hmm. Pearl. Oh, pearl. Pearl. No. Pearl you arguments. In, you have no grammar. I got my tongue's tired. We've been speaking for three hours now. Stop complaining, <laughs> <big> baby. <laughs> um, so I think I think it should come back because it's it's like a it's just her way. It's just like it's okay. If it was put in any other world, it would screw over everything. But since it's in her world, mm -hmm. it would it makes sense because she's. She's made it so, like, dragons who are affected by it um, don't want to be affected by it, or those who are affected by it don't care anymore. But, like, it's like... They don't... There, it's not... It shouldn't... I don't think it should be gone. Gone. I mean, like... Mainly because it's just how it is. Because it's, like... It's, yeah. it's in there. They gotta use it. And it makes the stories pretty interesting. Like, I mean, like, there's definitely those parts where it's just like, dude, what the heck? Why is it so powered? Right. But then it's like, it, it's supposed, like, the book she's writing, it's like, trying, it's like, they have like a kind of moral to it. Mm -hmm. And without it, it'd kind of be like, oh yeah. yeah, you can't use your moral anymore. Right. Kind of like a power, it'd be the like, absolute power corrupts yeah. type of story. Yep, I I don't mind. Like I like fantasy, so I like magic stuff, books, magic in my storylines. I don't mind, but I like it when there's some kind of uh, definition, boundaries, laws to it. I guess this one but, is you can't reanimate the dead. <laughs> right. That's it. Yeah, that's it. And <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it. And then it, it's just to me it's an easy way to how it is in this book it's an easy way to cop out and get your characters out of situations that they're in it's, you know like oh they're back against uh, they're get, they're backed up against the corner so you know but as a reader you don't have to be afraid if they're backed in the corner because turtle has animus magic and he can just do some kind of spell real quick on the spot and this problem is solved but at the moment in the storylines the um animus magic isn't working for some reason and i don't know like so when i do the like i prefer the first seven books compared to the lot to books eight nine and ten where animus magic is you hear of it and you could use the objects that they've already done the magic to but it's not Key. it's not alive and flourishing but when you have like talents of power and stuff, and then when you see Darkstalker use it, and you know he's just like putting spells on people, and it just kind of ruins the fun for me. I saw kind of animus magic. While I like Sundu's my um, ability is because you know she has to actually work at it. I guess you do have to kind of work at your animus magic. You have to learn how to word it right, word it correctly. But her, you got to spell it correctly. You have and to be able to convince the plants to do what you want you can't make them yeah and then once they do what you want them to do the other dragon such has the ability to counter counter yeah. attack or defend themselves well with animus magic if i say daniel don't move ever again 
there's nothing you could do about it because I said it before you could do and if you didn't have it and it was magic at all you're basically a statue there that's uh, that's yes. my problem with it I feel like though it's being cursed by like an animus magic where like you're told to do something I feel like you could literally just relax and do nothing because your body would just do it by itself so it would be uh, just like you're just like mm -hmm. laziness without being lazy <laughs> right something like that yeah <laughs> it could always be like um, Stone Mover or whatever his name is. Stone, well, Stone Mover is just freaking haste yeah. fossilizing himself. Right. Because he because if he doesn't, he thinks he's gonna he's gonna, he's gonna go be crazy. bad. He's gonna be like uh, he's trying to keep him Star, Dark Stalker. Stuff. Yeah, he doesn't want that. He knows. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Um. Yeah, you know, I wonder what whole... it would be like for for Stone Mover to be teleported to Darkstalker's song room, though. It'd be like teleporting an entire wall. <laughs> yeah, basically. Well, it's that's just what like, happened to him. Here's the wall. It's just like, it's just like give me Stone Mover. Yeah. And then you have a wall, and then there's Stone Mover. Yeah. He's just laying. He just now, sit, now he's he's just laying there, just like. Now he's thicker. Now boy. He's, <laughs> now he's thicker than furniture. Yeah, now he's just like. Oh, okay. Yeah, now he's thicker than furniture. So, uh. Sonny wouldn't be happy about that. <laughs> no, she wouldn't be happy at all. Um, so, yeah, so we already had this talk before. I don't know if we ever actually downloaded the video talking about does animus magic really ruin the soul? Yeah, I feel like I, that's I more feel like it's more depending on the dragon. Yeah, like I, for me, it's just... The personality of the dragon. For me, instead of ruining us, it's like, it chips away a soul, but, like, not the kind of way that you would think. It's like, mm -hmm. it would make, it makes good things seem okay. It makes good things seem good, and bad things seem okay. Right. Like, it's just like, with us, we see black and white, well, I hope you do, but, like, with us, we see black and white, and then we can, we can identify the gray area. Yeah. With someone who's been using animus magic so much... There, it's like you literally took the blur painter on blur option on your um, divis paint thing and just went boop, and then you got a big blur there. And it's just like, well, where's the gray and where's the black and where's the white? Where did it all go? Yeah, like you know, it's like they know there's black and white, but they can't tell where the line is. It's just like, what, yeah, where is it? Yeah, but then we go to like we talk about uh, the Dark Starker book. You know, fan, fandom is always worried about his soul being corrupted. But then, what's, what was his wife's name? Mate Indigo? Yeah. She was like, you don't have nothing to worry about because you're a good dragon. You're not going to turn bad. So, that kind of makes it... I mean, of course, that's just her opinion. Yeah, not That fanatic, dragon's opinion. But, like... But when you think of all the other dragons, even, like, Winter, he was... Yeah, you know, wasn't really... He wasn't really bad. Mean Arctic. Arctic, yeah. He was, oh, sorry, yeah. Arctic, he wasn't really bad. No, he wasn't He had a bad. temper, but... Like, I feel like Arctic problem, like, he was really, really homesick. He was yeah, just, like, because... homesick, and he was worried that... And he was always worried that... Something... His was, magic was corrupting him. Yeah, he was always worried about things. He was homesick. He was having a good time. His tribe was in with, with war with his wife's tribe. Mm -hmm. He thought his wife was just doing... He thought, like, he was just, like... His magic was, like... And the line that was there was like the uh, st it was still there. He could tell he could still tell, but one but it was like the hit when Foe Slayer didn't come back after she ran out on him because he because he um, said something that he shouldn't have. Like um, yeah, he said like you're just you, you just love me because of the gifts I give you, and then that was just like right, then yeah. she took off the ring earring, and then something took effect, and she went to the Ice Kingdom because of the, the spell. But like. Yeah, the spell. It was like, but when, I feel like when Arctic did that, he was just like, the I just killed my wife. And so, like, that line was just shattered. He yeah. had nothing left. He was just like, Yeah, so he was willing to do anything. I, yeah, he was just like, I want my wife back. Yeah, he was willing to do anything to get her back. Including. The best thing that could have happened was they joined the Mudwings. Yeah. Or just was, another tribe. Because, like, it was just like, he was just so, he was like, not. And, like, also, he, he, he was, his whole anatomy was supposed to be made for the day and for, like, cold and things like that. But he, here he was in a, like, a average climate with having to be forced to be nocturnal. So, like, that also adds on to the stress. And so he was, like, really stressed out. Yeah, he was out of And he was, he, every day was terrible for him because yeah. he could, 
he could never go back home to see to see his he could never go back home because his right. mother was a jerk and yeah. his and he it was out of his element he was no he wasn't there he was no longer like he like he loved like he was he was he had I bet <laughs> and like Darkstalker didn't help at all because when Arctic was like just telling Darkstalker to stay out of his head and instead of staying out of his head Darkstalker just kept flailing yeah. that around and then that added on to even more stress and then Darkstalker just became really unfavorable and then so mm-hmm. it was just like and then so Arctic was like I really don't like this person don't like this why is my kid so freaking annoying and then yeah. it was like. She like he liked um he liked um, um the whiteout because whiteout. whiteout looked really similar to him and also she was like she kind of I'm guessing that she kind of reminded him of um yeah. like his home and but also like it was like but her he, personality was different her, too her, yeah she wasn't as annoying or mean as Dark Soccer was yeah. so being with her and like he like he would he would like flash her around too like he'd be like this is my daughter and yeah. he was like because he he took pride in that so. Like he like like he loved his kids, but he was just like he had so much going on in his life. He just didn't need Darkstalker yeah. doing that to him. I think Darkstalker scared him too. Darkstalker probably did scare him too. Yeah. yeah, because like especially when they found especially when he found out that he was an animus as well, that also probably scared him because yeah. he knew Darkstalker doesn't listen to him. And I think the only people only ones that weren't scared of him was probably uh, Full Slayer and uh, Clear Sight. Clear Sight was Clear Sight was more wary of him. Yeah. But like, but like, yeah. Bo Slayer loved like Bo Slayer really loved him. Like she was a good mom, and I feel like Arctic would have been a better dad if her mother wasn't such a freaking jerk. Yeah, because she was, her his mother sucks. Yeah, she's so mean and like, and they're just adding on so much st- stress. Is he just broke? Like when it was like at the end when he died, that was because he hit his breaking point. He cracked. He broke because. He just couldn't take all that stress anymore. He's yeah. just like, I... Well, that's not why he died. That. He died because well, he got I a mean, spell put on him. No, I mean, that's not... I didn't say that's why he died, but when he did die, though, oh. it was like, the reason why Darkstalker did that to him was because he literally just broke. Yeah. He he, he broke. He, well, he, broke he was him. trying to take he his daughter back as a prisoner to... Not really a prisoner. Well, he had that necklace around him. Yeah, but, like, that was because he really missed... Uh, those, like, like, it's still, you shouldn't do that, but it's like, you can see why, and also, like... It's just, it's, if you've looked at it, it's really not Arctic's fault at all. It's more of his mother's fault because it's like, his mom is just terrible and Darkstalker wasn't helping and like the, all the went, fact that he had some, I love how this went from Animus was, though to Arctic though. <laughs> no, I was say, we went from Animus to Arctic. I mean, Arctic's um, a really cool character though. He was yeah. one of my favorites. Yeah, he was a good character at the beginning and stuff. He was like... He's like, man, all these. Like, you uh, really feel sorry all, for. He was her. like, all this ice, all these ice queens are stuck up, and but this yeah. full slayer, she's all. She's, she's like, she's her herself. She's, yeah, she's cool and. She doesn't. She she's doesn't. Loose and stuff. She doesn't like. Mm-hmm. She doesn't. She's not always trying to. She's like. He's like. She's not boring. Yeah. All these other guys are boring because they're all worried about what people think of them. Yeah. And Arctic could care less. He's like, and so full slayer wasn't like that. So like he loved full slayer because. Funny that thing is, the, at the end, Arctic turned more like, like the Ice Queens. I know, and yeah. I feel like that was more like I feel like that was more of yeah. homesickness, stress, and yeah. things like that. He was just like, and also Animus Magic because like I also feel like the Animus Magic he used because he did use quite a bit of it. Mm. I feel like he Ooh. used most of it. It's been a long day. I know he used most of it for gifts on Foslayer, didn't he? Yeah, isn't that good? Oh, I did a video. No, yes, he did. He used most of them of his gifts on Foslayer. I think actually her. all of them though. It was basically he loved all. his mate. It was all of them except for like two things, which was the necklace he used on Whiteout and the earring that he used to protect himself from spells. Yeah, that was it. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, so, what's your thoughts on Emma's magic? Do you like it? Do you think it should go away? Do you want it to come back but fixed a little bit? Uh, what's your opinions? Uh, we would love to hear it. So, have a great day and hasta luego. Bye.